Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to set up and use Account Engagement's Sales Emails and Alerts add-on, formerly known as Salesforce Engage. With this add-on feature, your sales team will be able to streamline communications, engage and nurture prospective leads more effectively, and maintain consistent branding using marketing-approved content. Let's start by outlining what Sales Emails and Alerts is. At a high level, Sales Emails and Alerts is a family of account engagement-powered tools that live in Salesforce and help sales teams sell smarter and faster. It includes tools to track customer interactions, send compelling emails, and access key info on the go. With Sales Emails and Alerts, the day-to-day -day admin work it takes to manually find, email, and continually follow up with customers is greatly reduced, giving sales users more time to focus on hot leads and close more deals. So what tools do you get with sales emails and alerts and how would you use them? First, we have campaigns, formerly known as engage campaigns. With campaigns, sales users can send one-to-one -one or one-to-many emails directly from the lead, contact, opportunity, account, and campaign objects in Salesforce using email templates that have been designed by their marketing team. These emails can be customized, are tracked, and can include account engagement personalization features like dynamic content and merge fields. There are also several optional settings you can choose to enable such as send on behalf of, setting a default email template, or customizing the user send limit for a 24 hour period. With this tool, sales users can quickly send what looks like a personalized one-to-one -one email to a prospective client with much less effort and with greater confidence as it has already been approved by their marketing team. Common use cases include introduction emails to new clients, event invites, scheduling meetings, or sharing relevant promotions and discounts. Next, we have alerts, formerly known as engage alerts. These are real-time, customizable notifications created by sales users to let them know when a prospect has interacted with a key marketing asset so they can respond in a timely manner. Each sales user creates their own alerts based on the prospect attributes they're most interested in, such as what kinds of marketing materials they interacted with or where they're based. These alerts can be created, paused, or deleted as needed. So the sales user only has a limited number of the most high value alerts running at any one time. Prospects who match these alerts are then grouped in columns where sales users can see their most recent activity, account engagement score, and contact details so they can further prioritize who and how to engage. For example, if a company is trying to expand their consumer base in Australia and New Zealand, a sales user could create an alert to notify them when one of their assigned prospects from that region submits a form, downloads a content file, or completes another activity that shows a high level of interest. When a suitable prospect engages, an alert pops up on the sales user's browser, Salesforce mobile app, or desktop app, so they know to take the next steps right away, whether that is sending an email, giving them a call, or adding them to a targeted nurture campaign. Next up, we have reporting for sales emails and alerts, formerly known as engage reports. With sales emails and alerts, you get two out-of-the-box dashboards. The first is the user reports dashboard, where individuals can see the results for their own one-to-one -one or one-to-many campaigns. The second is the team reports dashboard, where managers can see the combined results of their team based on their role hierarchy in Salesforce. Custom reports can also be created to evaluate campaign performance through a different lens. With these reports, users can quickly evaluate and fine tune the effectiveness of different campaigns, identify the best performing templates and monitor usage. And finally, we have the Outlook plugin, formerly known as Engage for Outlook. With the plugin, users can send trackable one-to-one -one emails directly from their Outlook inbox. These emails can be built from scratch or use an email template. Users can also see prospect activities and insights right in their email client, so they can better tailor their message. The plugin works best for sales users who want to send a quick one-to-one -one message that is visible in both Salesforce and their email client. Now let's discuss at a high level how to set up sales emails and alerts. For detailed instructions on all these steps, please check out the linked implementation guide. Step one, assign licenses and permissions to begin. Your Salesforce admin will assign the permission sets and licenses to the sales users 
who will be using sales emails and alerts with a license assignment tab. These users must have a sales cloud, service cloud, or CRM license, and have a user record in both Salesforce and account engagement. Please note, if a manager just needs to see the team reports and not use any other sales emails and alerts functionality, they don't require a full license. Step two, configure Salesforce tabs and page layouts. Next, your Salesforce admin will add the alerts tab to your app and add the send email button to the compatible objects in Salesforce. This button can be added to the lead, contact, opportunity, and account list views and page layout, the contacts related list on the account page layout, and the campaign page layout. Step three, set up reports. After this, your Salesforce admin will set up reporting. This will involve downloading the report package from the App Exchange, assigning the permission set to your Salesforce Connector user and end users, and sharing the reports folder with any admins that need access to the reports. As the two out of the box dashboards are accessed via tabs, these will also have to be added to the app. Step four, enable optional features in Salesforce. And the final step for your Salesforce admin will be to enable the optional features that live in Salesforce. This can include assigning the send on behalf of permissions to allow users to send either from themselves, the contact or lead owner, or the account owner. Enabling content deliveries and public links to let users add Salesforce files to their emails and adding the tools visual force page to the app so users can quickly access training documentation, or the download links for the sales emails and alert plugins. Step five, configure settings in account engagement. Your account engagement admin will then take over to configure the sales emails and alert settings that live in account engagement. This can include assigning a user to receive product and service notifications about sales emails and alerts, setting a limit on how many emails can be sent by each user in 24 hours, excluding opted out prospects from one-to-one -one emails, and choosing which email templates can be used and if a default email template will be set. Step six, set up third-party email integrations, optional. And the final step, if you'll be using the Outlook plugin, your end users must download the extension and log in with their Salesforce user, and your Salesforce admin must complete some additional setup to enable the integration. Now let's dive into how to launch a sales emails and alert one-to-many campaign as an end user. Let's say you're a sales rep who wants to reach out to a new account to introduce yourself and offer a personal demo. First, we open the account record, then navigate to the contacts tab or wherever the contacts related list lives in your page layout and click the send email button. This button can be added to either the related list or the top of the page layout. When the email builder opens, it will either be empty or show the default email template if that's been set. Because this is a common use case for our sales reps, our account engagement admin has already made a reusable email template we can quickly pull up and customize. Let's change from the default to this sales rep outreach email template now. This email template looks good. It already has most of the key information we want and has built-in personalization. So it's going to show us as the sender and we'll pull in some account and contact info to make it more personalized to each recipient. To finish it off, let's start the email with hello recipient.firstname instead of just recipient.firstname and let's add Salesforce and account engagement as examples of industry leaders at the end of the second paragraph where our marketing team has left a suggestion. Next, we click the two X recipients link at the top of the page to quickly review the recipient list. If there's a contact we want to exclude for whatever reason, we click the X to remove them from this send. And now that we're happy with the email content and the recipient list, we click send and our sales emails and alert one to many email campaign has been deployed. Now let's look at how a sales rep can create a real time alert. We can see each alert is grouped into a column and then into cards, showing the prospects that match the alert criteria in the last few days. If we want to update, pause, or delete any of these alerts, we can use these buttons at the top of the column to do so. To create a new alert, we click the Add New Column button and a pop-up will appear. Let's take our example use case from earlier, 
where our sales rep wanted to be notified when their assigned leads or contacts based in New Zealand or Australia were active. Let's name this alert ANZ, Hot Prospects. Now for our matching criteria, let's select only my assigned leads and contacts as the leads and contacts criteria. For activity criteria, let's tick file downloads and forms as our high value activities. And for geographic criteria, let's use the add an individual country dropdown to select Australia and New Zealand. And then click save. And there you have it. Our new alert has been created and once there are matching prospects, our sales rep will start receiving notifications in real time and be better able to nurture their ideal leads. You should now have a solid understanding of sales emails and alerts and how it can enhance your sales team's efforts and make their day-to-day -day more efficient. As a next step, you may want to share this video, share our training documentation, or lead your own internal training to ensure your end users quickly see the full benefits of your investment in sales emails and alerts. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.